This critical incident video details an officer-involved shooting that occurred at approximately 1 p.m. on January 28, 2021. The incident began with a disturbance between four people regarding the sale of a vehicle. The victims, a 71-year-old man and his 44-year-old son, were attempting to purchase the vehicle from an online listing. They met the sellers, 18-year-old Darius Jackson and 19-year-old Marquise Madison, in a Lowe's parking lot and then later at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles branch on East 42nd Street. After meeting in the Lowe's parking lot and negotiating a price for the vehicle, the victims drove to a Chase Bank on Shadeland Avenue. All four men then met at the Lawrence BMV branch. Darius Jackson entered the BMV, followed by the victim who wanted to buy the vehicle. After failing to obtain proper title for the vehicle, the son called off the transaction. Outside of the BMV, the victim say Jackson displayed a rifle and Madison a handgun. The father also displayed a handgun before he and his son drove away in a GMC truck. Jackson and Madison in two different trucks pursued the victims. A camera at the corner of 38th Street and North Franklin Road captured the chase. The three vehicles continued westbound on 38th Street. After turning south on Shadeland Avenue, shots were fired at 30th Street. Shots were fired after the victims were stopped by traffic at Shadeland Avenue and 30th Street. The following video shows the victims being chased by Mr. Jackson driving a blue Dodge Ram and Mr. Madison driving an older model Chevy Silverado. By chance, a plainclothes IMPD officer in an unmarked sedan was also pulling up to the intersection. The plainclothes officer saw Mr. Madison exit the Chevy Silverado with a rifle and fire multiple rounds at someone. The officer then discharged his service weapon at Mr. Madison, still armed with the rifle. The following is the same video magnified and slowed to 50%. It shows Mr. Jackson drive over the center divide, step out of his truck near the intersection, and walk backwards towards other vehicles while extending his arm out. Multiple fired handgun cartridge casings were later found at that location. Mr. Madison can also be seen stepping out of his truck after it was backed into by the victim's truck. Multiple fired rifle cartridge casings were recovered from the middle southbound lane of Shadeland Avenue. Additional fired rifle cartridge casings were recovered from the green and silver truck located in the 2600 block of Calvert Avenue. He is holding and firing a rifle.
Security camera number nine provides a different perspective of the incident. Puffs of smoke are visible as the officer discharges his service weapon at Mr. Madison, who was armed with a rifle. The following is the same video magnified. The passenger in the victim's pickup truck was wounded by gunfire as they make a U-turn and head north on Shadeland Avenue. Another camera on the southeast corner of the intersection shows Jackson and Madison turning eastbound on 30th Street. The officer in an unmarked car begins following the suspect vehicles. The officer stops following the vehicles when they enter a residential area. A home security camera shows Jackson and Madison driving by. The following dispatch audio begins with a silent panic alarm at the BMV. It continues with the control operator speaking with multiple officers, including the plainclothes officer. Portions of extended silence have been removed. The audio is compressed. Attention units, East District 51, business panic alarm, 7857 East 42nd Street, 4250 North, 7900 East, standby for further. Baker 120, Baker 142, Baker 120, Baker 142, business panic, 7857 East 42nd Street, the BMV, silent panic times 2, 4250 North, 7900 East. 122. Baker 120, Baker 142, 1258. All right, 2311, advising shots, just fired 30, admit. Twenty three eleven advising. There were shots fired three oh and mid. So four ninety five, I'm still eastbound crossing Franklin. Player eastbound crossing Franklin. What was the vehicle description again? Two trucks chasing each other, a blue one and a green one. What street is he on? Thirtieth. Eastbound thirtieth crossing uh, we're through Franklin. I'm trying to follow him here. We're not clear. Were they shooting at each other? Is that what this is? Based on the other traffic? The person in the green and silver truck was shooting at somebody else. I don't know who. Um, and I fired shots at the green, the male in the green and silver truck. On southbound Rich Hart, crossing 34th. Okay, they're, uh... Oh, geez, let's see here. Southbound routiers, southbound routiers. They're southbound routiers from 30th. Control 155, put me on that, please. Clear. Control 126 as well. Carol Slags in row. I've seen southbound routiers. Um, I'm stopping at 30th and routiers. I'm not following them. Uh, they went southbound routiers, and then uh, I can't tell. Looks like uh, east on a street and a couple streets uh, south. So, wait, can we see the description one more time of the vehicle? There's a blue uh, a blue pickup truck, a little bit older, maybe a Dodge Ram, and then a a, a Chevrolet, green and silver, uh, black male armed with a rifle. Control that street dumps south by the Lowe's, 25th and Post. Yeah. And on that street dumps south by the Lowe's and 25th and Post, where he might be going. At 1.01 p.m., a call came in of a gunshot victim on the 6600 block of East 34th Street. Officers located the GMC on fire and a 44-year-old victim with multiple gunshot wounds. The man was taken to Eskenazi in critical condition.
At 1.13 p.m., IMPD officers were dispatched to Community East Hospital for a walk-in person shot. Video shows Jackson and a wounded Madison arriving. Mr. Jackson walked back outside to his pickup truck. In plain view of the hospital police and security officers, he grabbed a jacket and placed it into a garbage can at the emergency room entrance. When an officer retrieved the jacket, one rifle fell onto the pavement and a handgun was located in the trash can. Mr. Madison was transported to Eskenazi Hospital in stable condition. Mr. Jackson and Mr. Madison were arrested for attempted robbery. The officer involved was not wearing a body-worn camera as he was in plain clothes and in an unmarked vehicle. A charge of a crime is merely an accusation and the defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office will make all final charging decisions related to the incident. The incident is being investigated by IMPD's Critical Incident Response Team. A separate and independent investigation will be conducted by IMPD's Internal Affairs Unit to ensure compliance with department policy. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office will be consulted throughout the investigative process.